be lounging poolside or hanging at a barbecue this summer, you're likely going to need a light cocktail on hand to quench your thirst. So here to show us how to make some tasty drinks that leave you refreshed without overloading on sugar or alcohol is the founder and head distiller of Aviation American Gin, Christian Krogstad. It's so nice to see you. Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah. So Great. we're making three different cocktails today, I'm making right? three very different drinks, but all very refreshing. And, and what makes these lighter than the cocktails we might commonly think of? Um, we're mixing them with either wine or with beer, so that really brings down the alcohol and uh, or with juices. Um, and just the flavors are very refreshing because of the citrus and, mm. and, and lighter in alcohol or lighter in um, sorry in sugar. Lighter in sugar. Um, and we're and using a honey syrup for all of them oh, rather than a sugar, so it's a, a nice honey flavor as well. Well, lemon is one of my favorites, so let's see what you got. Yeah, I'll, I'll start with the uh, we call it a bee's knees or mm -hmm. beer's knees rather. Beer's the peak knees. on a bee's knees, <laughs> um, which is a, a, a classic old drink. Uh, and I'll, I think all these recipes are up on your on your uh, website. We will put put them up if they're not already there. But the beer's knees uses an ounce and a half of Aviation American gin. Okay. Um, Which is pretty fine stuff. Great stuff, thank you. One ounce of uh, fresh lemon juice, one okay. ounce of the fresh honey syrup, which is just honey and water. Um, that looks delish. And we add ice and shake. So it starts out a lot like uh, a normal cocktail would. Okay. That is a professional shake right there. But then um, what's different about it is. Um, we serve it in a nice tall glass. Good for you. I like we, volume. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, it's, it's hydrating. It's hydrating. That's right. You've got to be careful. It's warm out there. <laughs> Strain it. that right through. And then we top it with the Widmer Hefeweizen, which gives it a um, really nice creamy flavor. Wow. Um, it also, like I said, it makes it longer and more of a I don't know, more of a refreshing summertime. So if you're sitting outside and you don't want to go, you know, grab another drink every two minutes. Yeah, if you're, you know, exactly. Drinking water, yeah, whatever, exactly. You can, you can make well, a big like if you're glass water. of it. To, and, and, I didn't and even you, ask if I can taste. So I'm like, just give me that. Please do. And and you can add more or less beer depending on how much, you know, how how <laughs> much volume you want. Isn't that good? I am just all a Twitter. That's wonderful. Okay, that, yummy. What are we doing next? So the next one uh, is great, especially if you're um, if you're entertaining and you want to make something in advance and you want to make a big batch of it. Yeah, uh, something in a pitcher. That's awesome. Yeah, pitcher drinks are, are really nice. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. I just mean if I'm entertaining. So I I made oh, up they're the on to me. I made up the drink uh, yesterday actually, and and it's good for the flavors to kind of marry. So. Uh, it's called putting on the spritz, and it uses dry Riesling. Uh, it uses Ooh. the Aviation American Gin. It uses lemon uh, and pineapple. Uh, and so, yum. The nice thing about this is, if you're entertaining, you don't have to be sitting around measuring. You know, you measure the the batch in advance, mm -hmm. and um, then you just pour it over ice it, for whoever you're serving. You pour it in a pitcher. You add soda water. Again, it's going to lengthen it and make it more refreshing. We're going to ice it. Doesn't that look good to you guys? That just looks like summer right there. We're all watching him like our dogs watch treats right now. We're and then so into it. You can sort of pretty, it pretty it up with uh, some lemon wedges. Look at that. And that also adds flavor. Some mint leaves. Look at you go. That's and it just beautiful. Kind of makes it festive. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely and again, lovely. Just serve it into a glass. Now, obviously, as a service to our audience, I'm going to need to taste this one as well. Of course. <laughs> Clearly. Give it a little garnish because that's go. part of the whole flavor experience. Oh, man, that is really good. <laughs> that is yummy. I'll just drink this and you can go on to sure, the next all one. All right. Well, you're, you're going to want to try the next one, too. So, the next one is called the mm. Lonsdale. Um, we start with fresh um, basil, Kay. three leaves that oh, we helpful. muddle. And muddling is just smushing it's, them in the glass, yeah, right? It's really just the purpose isn't to tear them, but to bruise them to get mm -hmm. the oils out. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we're going to use help clear for you oh, here. Sure. An ounce and a half of the Aviation American Gin. All right. 
which, as you're seeing, it's, it's really versatile. It works in all these different drinks. Right. It's a light gin. I mean, it has such a, a nice flavor, and it doesn't Thank overwhelm you. anything. Yeah, we really made it to go great in these kinds of cocktails. Right. Um, so, ounce and a half of aviation, one ounce of the uh, cider. Okay. We're going to go half ounce of the honey, honey syrup. syrup. That just sounds ounce so good. Of lemon. Yeah, the honey syrup and lemon just work so mm -hmm. well together. Mm -hmm. um, can you see? Everybody can see what he's doing? Okay. And then once again, the shake. <laughs> that is so cool. That's <laughs> where you got those arms. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, it's very simple. Uh, we use a um, fine strainer just to get the mm -hmm. little bits of basil out. And serve it a bit like a traditional. Yeah, but it's really lengthened with that apple juice. Yum. And then again, I'm going to give it a little, whoop, that, try there another that, one. That basil escaped. Just kind of just bruises releases it. the oils exactly. a little bit. Lay it on top and there you have it. There's How the yummy is that? Scale. Wow, this is going to be an interesting after the show meeting for me today. That's right, that's right. That's my favorite of the three. Really? Yeah, I, I wasn't oh. expecting that. Let me just taste one you more should, time. You should to be go sure. back through. You should go back through them now. You should review the others. I might, I might have to go through them again just to be absolutely clear. Thank you so much. You're Those welcome. are delicious ideas. You can find the website for Aviation American Gin by going to king5.com/newday, and the full recipes for these fantastic drinks and every single one is delicious are on our Kitchen Monkey page, also on our website.